Hey, I'm Van Sykes, here with another episode of Grills Gone Wild. We're here today at the historic Bright Star Restaurant in downtown Bessemer, and I'm joined by Andreas, a chef here. Andreas, tell, tell us a little bit about your experience here at the Bright Star. Okay, well, I've been here at the Bright Star for uh, almost three years now. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. I am Jimmy and Nikki Koikis' second cousin. And uh, the reason I got here was I was in the restaurant business. I had my own restaurant in Toronto. Jimmy came to visit. Uh, we talked about my future. I uh, told him I was looking for something new. And he said, why don't you come to the Bright Star? Here I am. That's great, because the Bright Star, it's all about family tradition and food. In fact, today what we're going to do is we're going to go into the kitchen and from scratch, we're going to watch Andreas make the uh, Greek snapper for us. So let's head on back there to the uh, to the cutting room and see what fresh fish is all about. All right. Welcome back, folks. We're here in the processing room of the historic Bright Star Restaurant getting a behind-the-scenes look at what really makes this restaurant special. Andreas, tell us a little bit about your fish and your supplier. Okay. We, uh, we buy the fish uh, two times a week. We get it direct from the fisherman, Greg Abrams Seafood. Comes right off his boat to the truck to our back door. Uh, we buy anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 pounds a week. Um, the time I've been here, uh, the, we have, the record we've had is 2,600 pounds sold in one week. So it's uh, it's a big part of our menu. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the man here, Carl Thomas, who's uh, the backbone of the business. Carl. Carl's been here 35 years, and his responsibilities here at the restaurant uh, include uh, checking the fish in, uh, processing it, uh, portioning it, and uh, inventory control. So uh, we can uh, go back here to the fish room, and uh, Carl will demonstrate for you how he, uh, what he does every day that keeps this place going. All right, we're back here in the process and portioning room, and we're going to watch this beautiful 20-pound fresh-caught snapper get processed so that it's ready to go to the kitchen for our final phase of the cooking. All right, and how that we've seen Carl do his magic with the fish. Andreas, tell us a little bit about how this is uh, going to become the fish that we use in the kitchen. Okay. Well, we have different pieces of fish here. This what we utilize here at the restaurant. This here is the top head, which we will steam off and use this uh, beautiful meat in our gumbo, one of the things Bright Star is famous for. These pieces here will be uh, snapper throats, another uh, famous Bright Star dish where I don't know any other uh, restaurants that utilize that and uh, something we're very, uh, very famous for. And then here, this is the main piece, this is the loin, and this will be uh, butterfly portions for our fillets of snapper. So now, now we've got this process now, we're ready right to the point to uh, go to the kitchen and uh, start cooking. It's time. All right, we've moved on now to the cook line here where we're ready to go for the final preparation. Andreas, take us through the steps, okay? I'm just gonna reach down to my refrigerator here, pull out this beautiful piece of snapper that our friend Carl filleted for us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dust it here in some of this seasoned flour. Just lightly dust it. Put a little oil down in our hot grill top. Just let it do its thing. Now the reason we, we, we butterfly the fish is there's two, two reasons. One's for presentation. It's a very nice plate presentation, covers the whole plate. Also cook time. Here at the Bright Star, we cook uh, uh, high volume. We have 330 seats. We can serve up to 700 dinners in a night. So uh, cook time is very important to us here. Uh, oh, another thing is, this piece of fish, 
there's a lot of different things we can do with this high quality fish. What we're going to do today is restyle it. Also, we have almadine, uh, blacken, we can blacken the snapper, we can top it with crab meat. Uh, there's just many different options you can do with this beautiful piece of fish. So we're cooking now at about what, 325, 350 on this flat grill? It's about 375. 375, so it's on the hot side. So it's oh, almost yes. like you're searing it real quick. Yeah, you just sear it really quick. It's, 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 a, it's a thin piece of fish. It really doesn't need that much time. How will you know when to turn it? What will tell you? Will it just the edges here? Is that what you're going to do? You can see on the side how it's cooking. Right. When it gets to about halfway, right. up, and it's time to turn it. Right. And then about the same amount of time. On the, on, the, on the other side. So how would you know when that's done? Just by obviously your experience, but is it a feel, that, a color you're looking for? Or? Um, well, yeah, the experience really helps. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you can uh, you can see it. You, you'll see the uh, the white fish throughout. Right. That lets you know the heat's gone all the way through. That's correct. Our fish is finished cooking now, so we're going to plate our fish, and you can see what a beautiful presentation it covers the whole plate. Some butterfly, and then for our signature Greek snapper, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top. Not too much oregano, and then uh, this is a special sauce we make at the Bright Star, a blend of uh, olive oil, lemon juice, and we just finish it off. And that's the finished product. You saw it from start to finish here at the Bright Star. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, Van, I hope you're hungry. Oh, absolutely. Dinner served. This is, this is the, my favorite part. This is exactly what I've been waiting on. I'll tell you what, I got a feeling. Mm. Right now I'm thinking 105 years, James Beard Award, best steak. Just think about that, best steak in Alabama. And this has got to be one of the best pieces of fish I've ever had. Folks, I'm telling you, historic Bright Star Restaurant in downtown Bessemer, Greek Snapper, highly recommended. Absolute perfection. Thank you, Andres. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Man. Thank you.